welcome back to Dark Souls 3. As you can see, we're going to take on the Nameless King using pyromancy only. Uh, using <laughs> Great Chaos Five orb, orb only, to be honest. Uh, what can I say? It's it's probably the strongest pyromancy you've got. And this guy is no joke. Certainly, as a knight, he killed me many, 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 many times. Finally, I actually shamefully had to summon to get help. As a sorcerer, he was easy. Ish. The dragon was easy. As a pyromancer, oops. He's kind of in the middle. It's not easy, but it's not that bad. Um, the dragon's still quite easy. Missed there, but this is a great opportunity to get hits in. So you get him down to just about half, and uh, the dragon goes down. And then it's just a couple more hits. One, two. Right, first phase is over. That wasn't so bad, was it, eh? Second phase is much more difficult than the first phase. And I think I got lucky this particular time I fought him. Um, the first four times I fought him when, when he killed me, uh, it was the problem was always the same thing that um, he just didn't give me any time to get my spells in. I kept missing, and when I was trying to, you know, fill the Estus or Ash and Estus up, he'd come in and, and clip me, and I just I I didn't get that. You know, you get in the groove sometimes. Uh, this time, for whatever reason. Uh, he got stuck into his kind of like slowly walk towards you thing and uh, he just lobbed the fireballs at him and he dies not right from the beginning of it, that easy so you don't want to be too close to him if you're going to be throwing fireballs at him you can obviously go in a bit closer and try and say use great combustion um, whenever he goes one of his like big flashy like fly in the air attacks that's you've got an opportunity here for example roll forwards and then yeah so at this point in the fight he starts there you see dodge dodge now this is where I was having problems before this attack's great you shouldn't hit you with that. It's fairly easy to time it. And then roll back. Roll forward. Roll to the side. Roll to the side. But anyway, roll. Roll. At this point, he just stopped playing sensibly. So I'm at the right, just about the right range where I can hit him. He walks right into it. He's not doing anything, he's just kind of walking slowly towards me. Finally, he goes for something, but he goes for this, you know, his like most useless move. I roll back. He doesn't stop. Again, you can. I'm far enough away that that doesn't hit me. He's just walking slowly towards me again. One, two, and I can't believe my luck. Three, flipped him. So, that worked out much easier than I thought it was going to be. I do show you my stats at the end of this. Uh, at this point, I've only got one more boss to go. So, I think I'm about level 92 or 93. I'm eventually going to try and go for a 40-40 Faith and Int Pyromancer build. Uh, and I'm putting a few extra points into Vitality just to be a bit more survivable in PvP in the future. So let's have a look. After this fight, don't forget to run around the arena and pick up Ornstein's armour and the Titanite slab. 
sorry about this slight delay here. Uh, so yeah, yeah, let's have a look what my stats say. I do show them, don't worry. I remember in a second. Pause it. Sorry about that. <laughs> 